In a city made of hills and surrounded by water, City of Seattle engineers had their work cut out for them. Shaping and reshaping the landscape were major undertakings that determined how the city landscape is used today. To move enormous amounts of land, create lakes, reshape rivers, and shore up the waterfront, and connect it all with bridges, sewers, and fresh water, city employees dredged, sluiced, filled, and dived. Yes, they dived. The work of creating modern Seattle didn't just happen on land. This 1912 image is one of my favorite objects. This nitrate negative from the engineering department is described only as North Trunk Sewer, Diver. It is the earliest photo of a diver in our collections. What I love about this photo, aside from the look on the diver's face, is the awareness that it brings to the work that operating a city requires. On this hot summer day, August 2nd, 1912, this diver is in standard diving dress consisting of a metallic helmet, an air hose, a diving knife and boots, and a lead weight affixed to his chest to counteract the buoyancy of his helmet and suit. This suit was the standard for several decades, from the 1890s through the 1960s. The underwater work that the diver has done in completing the North Trunk Sewer is integral to the health and safety of Seattle's residents. Designed and supervised by Engineering Department Director R.H. Thompson and traveling over and through land and underwater, the North Trunk Sewer System was a network of tunnels that served Capitol Hill, Queen Anne, and downtown areas and snaked north to include Ballard and Interbay, terminating at Fort Lawton in Shill Shoal Bay. On the day this and several related photos were taken, engineering department staff were hard at work on the terminal piece of the trunk system. To view these photos and other feats of engineering, go to archives.seattle.gov.